Okay, so after checking online, I finally got the specs of the Ulefo Namo 11 5G, the key specs to be precise. And I'll be comparing the specs of the Yamo 11 with that of the Yamo 10. Uh, so you guys can see the differences and similarities between both devices. So let's head straight into it. The Yamo 11 5G has a 6.1 inch 720 by 1650 IPS LCD display. The Yamo 10 has a 6.67 inch 1080 by 2400 IPS LCD display. So the Yamo 10 has a much better display than the Yamo 11. So moving on to SOC, the Yamo 11 and the Yamo 10 has the same soc they have the dimensity 800 which is a 5g soc from mediatek so they have the same soc so moving on to memory the ammo 11 has 8 gigs of ram and 256 gb storage or the ammo 10 has 8 gigs of ram and 128 gb storage so the ammo 11 5g has a much bigger story than the ammo 10 5g so the ammo 11 5g actually wins when it comes to internal storage but the ram on both devices are the same thing Moving on to camera, the Amo 11 5G has a 14 megapixel main camera, a 20 megapixel night vision camera, a 13 megapixel ultra wide, a 2 megapixel macro, and a 2 megapixel depth camera. Uh, the Amo 10 5G has a 64 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, a 5 megapixel macro, and a 2 megapixel depth. So I cannot actually say which one is better because this is just a specs comparison video, but I believe that both smartphones actually has a really really nice camera setup so i'm just gonna move straight away from there and head straight to the battery life of both devices now the yamo 11 5g has a 5200 milliamp hour battery 10 watts wireless support and uh, an 18 watts fast charger while the ulefo namo 10 5g has a 5800 milliamp hour battery with 15 watts wireless support and a 50 watts fast charger so the yamo 10 5g has a much bigger battery life compared to the Amo 11 5G. So the Amo 10 5G actually has a much battery, a much better battery life and a much better charging speed compared to the Amo 11 5G. The Amo 11 5G also have a better charging speed but it's not as powerful as that of the Amo 10 5G. Speaking of OS, the same devices has the Android 10 operating system and Yule phone they've actually uh, promised to upgrade both devices to Android 11 very soon. Both devices actually support NFC and since both devices are rugged devices, they have IPC seeds, IPC snake certification. Uh, they are very powerful. They are resistant to water. They have drop resistant features and other stuff like that. And like I said, both devices have NFC. And so, as you can see, I've actually mentioned the specs of both devices side by side. Anyways, guys, I wanted to share your thoughts in the comment section below. I just want you guys to see the differences and similarities between both devices. I'm not saying that one is better than one. They are both nice devices. So share your thoughts in the comment section below what you think about both devices, the specs. I couldn't get the price of the Amo 11 5G, so I won't actually talk about the price for now. Perhaps later we get to be seeing the price. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section below what you think about the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.